Hello everyone, I am Dr. Mohammad Tawak Khalil, co-chair of ISPRM Communications Committee. And today uh, we are here with you guys for another disaster rehab series. And today I have with me Professor Taslimuddin, who is the uh, who is currently in Bangladesh in the department of PMNR and he's in the faculty of medicine, Sheikh Mujib Medical University in Bangladesh, and he is the vice president of Bangladesh Association of PMNR and he's the president of Board of Disability and Study Group Group and National Representative of Asia Oceania Society of PMR. Welcome, Professor Taskim. How are you doing today? It's okay, fine. Thank you so much. Hello, everybody. Yeah. So Professor Taslim has a vast experience uh, working in disaster rehabilitation. So Professor Taslim, uh, could you tell us in what kind of disasters have you previously had experience in providing rehabilitation? Thank you so much. Uh, I, I would like to share one of the uh, greatest natural disaster that I was uh, uh, witnessing uh, and I was there. The Nepal 2015 earthquake that was considered as the worst natural disaster in the region that heavily jolted central Nepal and nearby countries, including uh, India and, uh, and uh, Bangladesh as well. And uh, about uh, 9,000 people were died and another 23,000 were injured in the natural disaster. And uh, what services, what rehabilitation services did you guys provide in during that time? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm, actually, uh, at that time, uh, rehabilitation, especially after disaster, was not that much organized. So what we were doing, um, uh, we tried to contact with ASPRM Disaster Rehabilitation Committee as well as EMT, WHO EMT, uh, emergency uh, medical teams. That helped and uh, I was deployed as a uh, type 3 rehabilitation specialist. Uh, WHO type 3 rehabilitation specialist and uh, we could uh, formulate uh, following the uh, WHO guidelines a uh, disaster rehabilitation uh, uh, committee um, EMT uh, consisting of myself as a physiatrist, uh, two EMR residents, one neurology resident and one uh, uh, medical social worker. And later, one uh, PhD physio fellow from UK joined our team. And uh, actually, uh, we uh, uh, went to Nepal immediately after the disaster, within the very first week of the disaster. And uh, reporting the Ministry of Nepal, we got uh, our responsibility. We uh, 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 attended to uh, rehabilitation of spinal cord injury rehabilitation center. At, uh, based at Kathmandu and uh, we also attended uh, uh, time to time you know the coordination meetings uh, based at the ministry and as well as we also attended um, uh, armed forces uh, medical services for amputy management so our services mainly were uh, for the polytrauma injuries uh, pain medications and uh, spinal cord injury as well as amputee services over there. And also so, we we, we uh, uh, had some sessions for, for health education that worked really well because uh, to prevent um, infectious diseases epidemics and as well as uh, health education for, for the victims and as well as the healthcare workers. Yeah, so this actually brings me to my next question. So during your experience, uh, when you said that health education really worked, so what other things as per your experience do you think that worked really well in that environment or in that situation at that moment? Oh, yes. Uh, most important thing is, you know, the local contacts. We could get uh, uh, contacting with the uh, our counterpart, uh, uh, especially the rehabilitation uh, 
Spinal Cord Injury Rehabilitation Center based at Kathmandu. So we got ideas about what kind of rehabilitation need immediately they require and then um, we could you know organize the the uh, things like they, they told us okay we need some urinary catheter we need some dressing materials and as well as some disposables and some pain medication so we could collect from all our setup thanks so much uh, our uh, pmr services uh, in the bangabandhu sheikh muslim medical university as well as our uh, society members my family members also they could arrange funds as well as they could arrange these disposables so we could uh, collect these things and we could take all these things at handheld boxes because Kathmandu airport could not afford a lot of uh, supplies and uh, so that worked really well and as well as uh, regional and international supports and uh, uh, monitoring that really went well yeah it, it is quite interesting to hear how you you know somehow managed to continue with the supply chain of your medical equipment despite all the problems i think this is a very important lesson for us all you know yeah. and uh, and uh, what were the lessons what were the lessons that you personally learned from your this experience which so, so now yeah. you know guide you for future yeah yeah actually uh, mm, a great lesson for us is the making contacts with the local uh, uh, team where you are going to deploy it and uh, if you can know the uh, actually exactly what uh, immediate requirements you need at that time and uh, of course um, the uh, process of in, uh, EMT deployment is a cumbersome and uh, lengthy process that could be making uh, easier as well as and uh, as I mentioned you health education is very very important to prevent epidemics and as well as to uh, uh, make people aware about the uh, disaster and uh, rehabilitation is very very important across the continuum of post disaster uh, relief that really we could help uh, Nepal from just just not attending the uh, disaster site immediately after the disaster and also the time later uh, uh, for a longer period of time and of course keeping strong physically and uh, mentally is, is, is a challenging job when you are deployed in a field especially after disaster and because there are a lot of aftershakes and uh, and uh, you know the uh, residential food materials as well a lot, lot of challenges but you one when they are deployed at the disaster uh, site they need to be keep strong physically as well as psychologically and of course uh, rehabilitation is very very important for assessment of spinal cord injury patients for patients with uh, amputee for neuropathy as well as pain medications is really helpful thank you so much professor taslim for sharing it's with us your golden thank you so much thank you very much and so see you soon in uh, the upcoming conference in sydney 2024 that is in june and in sydney so see you soon there thank you so much again professor taslim thank you so much thank you indeed